and we've got the boss here right in, right now anyway so it's fine here is the worst boss in the game because the only way to attack it is to use your gun so you just go this Yep, there we go, Devil May Cry. We should design some boss battles for guns only, which is very, very, uh, very annoying. Oh uh, yeah, he does get close enough to do that, but that's all you can do. Even then it's not great. It doesn't do that much damage, it does less damage than doing that, so... And look at what the hell the helicopter is doing, it's just like been spinning around so far. Now it's still in the middle, and now it's attacking fucking nothing. But it's got so much health. We can't actually upgrade our guns to do even more damage. Buying rockets at us now. I don't think they were anywhere close to us, but might as well dodge anyway. Actually, that's the point. I don't know if there is aerial combat. If, like, if we're changing to double trigger and use the. Um, and fly around. I don't know if there is moves designed dis moves fucking hell, moves designed for aerial combat. I can try it when it comes down now. Oh, when it comes down in a second. It's on top of on these. Oh, I can. I think that's the only time it's hit me. Oh I can. Just make it even easier. Oh my god, I thought I missed them. Let's try, maybe if we can do aerial combat. Oh, I hit the blade! Okay, it's pretty cool you can do that. Oh, it's gone now. I shoot the missile, but that didn't do anything. Maybe I just didn't get it in time. I think it just gives you DT. Let's just try it, actually, so... Oh, there is! I don't know how to do it, though. I can throw it around like a boomerang, okay. Not worth giving that a try next time. See if that does any more damage, because it's... Well, it can't do more damage than the guns, because that's just, just... It's ridiculous how much damage that does. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's because it's off camera, I can't see what it's doing. I guess I'm supposed to rely on, like, sound cues, but I can't hear it well enough. So all I can hear is my guns. Come on. Oh my god. It's torture. <laughs> Pretty sure I don't even need to be dodging right now, because it's, it's only the heat seeking missiles which seems to be going anywhere close to me. Alright, so I think it's going to come down now. The missile's coming from behind. Fucking weird. Alright, oh, goddammit. Even if you can like charge a gun it's just to be feeling like you're doing something, you know? Uh, come down here. I wanna try my boomerang sword on you. Coming down now. You know, how much shit I'm giving this boss fight, it just seems to be fucking hurting me quite a bit. I'm not going to try my arse right into my enemies. There we go. I <laughs> fuck him just lands on Dante. Oh no, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, that's the worst boss in pr pretty much video game history. At the very least, it is one of them. 
Okay, let's save the game. Oh my god, it is so hard. Next mission. Let's power up what items do we have? We can power up the sword. Yeah, that's fine. I want to get all my other items first. And do you know what? It might even be worth just powering up my guns. Oh, I forgot I had the shotgun. I haven't tried that. Completely forgot about that. Wouldn't have been very useful against the helicopter, as you can imagine. And yeah, this game also introduced changing weapons with the trigger buttons. We've got a shotgun and they've fixed the bug where you can fire it super fast. Is there any other? I don't think there's any abilities with it, let's have a look. Alright, file. Shun, do 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 Time. Oh, two since I is shooting in two directions. I think. What's it called? Is it honeycomb shot where you can shoot it super fast? I think that's in Delma Cry 3 and 4. And that was round trip, so yeah, that's when you do an air raid. Okay. That was a boomerang. But yeah, shotgun, yeah, it's just a shot, so there's no like cool abilities. Um, I have to leave in the orange train. Fuck, I don't know where that is. I don't remember any of this. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, wasn't there a statue there before? Now it's gone. Oh. Isn't this where we started the last mission, just slightly differently? Because if so, then it feels like the entire last mission was completely pointless. If we just begin where we left off. It is the same area, for fuck's sake. I don't know where we go now. Go, all right. Just walk over there. Okay, this is like, this enemy is actually pretty cool. I like this, this like this this boss. So this is in the trailers. Oh my god, it's so low resolution. And you know, for the for the time, this looks really cool. I believe that is the infestation thing that was infesting the tanks and the helicopter, and now it's infested the building. See, Dante doesn't say anything. He should be saying fucking stuff, you know? I love that. Not a shotgun battle. That's actually a good place to test out my uh, air raid. That flame is pissing me off in front of the camera. Stop it! <laughs> oh, I don't like that you're firing directly at me. Why even hit me there? What the fuck? Did I get too close to the fire? Maybe. What's hitting me? What? Oh, there's tiny bats. I didn't even fucking see him. I can't hit them. Because of fucking soft lock ons going on the boss. Oh my god, that is actually doing a shit ton of damage. But the, the bats in the first, well, the second level were like red, so they're easy to see. And that's sort of a really hard move to dodge. No position. And you can't change targets manual. Oh, you follow me. Okay, okay, I see you again. I see you. Oh, I fucking fell into that. Okay. I'm actually having to focus on this one. These bats are annoying, and that's oh, and shotgun actually good. Yeah. All right. Okay. How do I avoid that one? Get closer, because he follows me. 
Nope, nope, we follow him then too. Fuck. How do I avoid that? God damn it, it's so annoying. Sometimes he follows me, sometimes he doesn't. We just get that's just like it's probably a safe spot underneath his chin. I don't think all these bats are real. There's only like ones that I can kill. Stop it with that, it's so annoying to dodge. Right, so we've killed the body, but now the head remains. And it is now completely the other fight. Got his health back, wish I had mine. I might not actually die. That would be embarrassing. Oh, I do so little damage. I need to increase my, uh, my sword damage. I'm actually trying to focus now because I don't want to die. Again, this is one of the bosses. I'm on normal, I can't believe I'm having such a hard time with some of these bosses. I blew through this game on Don't See Must Die. Son of a bitch. Alright, starting to vary up your attacks, I can appreciate that. This is poor timing. Actually having to focus. Oh, he's dead. Okay, cool. Wow, oh my god. I must be so rusty at this to be having a hard time on normal. God damn. Is that just a block in the sky? What was that? Someone to just get some PTSD. I hope that's a normal helicopter. That last one took forever to take down. And it wasn't even fun. Right, next mission! Alright, I was getting worried then that I'd missed some orbs, but no, we actually do have to skip a mission. Let me just check, so we'll go from... Yeah, there's no, no none in mission 6. Now we're on mission 7! Ouroboros. There's a... Oh, I thought the game crashed then. Fucking hell, that's another Resident Evil reference. Or maybe re Resident Evil references. Wasn't Ouroboros in Resident Evil 5? Uh, I guess we're... I don't know what, why, how we've got here. So I guess we're, we've gone to the building where the helicopter was. Like, we've followed them there. And they're obviously fucking evil because there's a fucking demon skull there. Can I press that button? It's like it's piece of an alarm. Hello there. Dick. I don't even know why I'm taking out these guys, I could probably just leave. So the first secret is when we get off an orange train, I don't remember what that is. 
Uh, so we presume we take like a tram at some point. Uh, if I remember, we can actually grind on this. Yeah! Oh, that's so cool. I think they use that animation for the uh, DM DMC skateboarding mod. Tony Hawk skateboarding. Uh, Tony Hawk's underground. There's no electric power supply to operate it. That's fine. Actually, I think there's a blow up on top of this tower. If I remember. I'm going in the complete wrong direction if there is. Let's have a look. No, on top of this one. Maybe it's over here somewhere. Oh, it's um, a gold. Take it. What on top of this one? No, nothing up there. Cool, those birds can fly around and just play with each other. I remember this section being a bit of a pain in the ass. If it is this section I'm remembering, I think it is. Alright, so that... Allows us to get to there, where we can fly up to, I believe. Which will be another um, devil trigger item. New enemy! I think they explode if you get too close, yeah. So don't get close. I think you can kill them from afar, but they've got shit in the health. Might as well just touch them and run. And let them kill themselves. Then any of the enemies nearby. Oh god, that's so good. Took him out. Right, that's some... I'll take that actually, some free double trigger. And then we can just go... Pretty awkward, having to flap your wings manually. What is this? Again, the exact same cutscene as before. I don't think I said this, but I really like Dante's double trigger in this one. Very badass. Well, we've got a flame heart, so now we can do fire damage. I uh, don't like the colour of our double trigger gauge changes as well, so if it was you noise know, lightning, it was uh, yellow, and when it's fire, it's red. Don't think it really matters that much. Maybe on certain enemies. Enemies in this level are on fire, so maybe it's a good idea to have electric, but then at the same time, why would they give us fire to enemies that are strong against fire in this game, in the, on the level? Whatever, it's fine, maybe I'm wrong. I am wrong quite often. I believe there's also a new sword in this level. Yeah, see, these guys are fire, so why would we use fire against them? Soft lock on, you failed me. There's a sword in that room, I believe. Ow, oh, fuck. Tried to shoot somebody, but pressing the gun button took me into the room. There it is. That ugly badass Vendetta. Let's equip it. In fact, I can just use my triggers, can I? Oops. No, so you can change guns, but not swords. That's annoying. Like they only did half a job. And so the deal is, it's got less range, but it does more damage, but the less range thing is complete bollocks, because it, it has the exact same range. Or you see, it looks like it does. It might shrink a little when we attack with it, maybe. I think that's what's happening. I think it is shrinking when we attack. Well, like on Dante, like it's going going up to his ankle, right? So we go back to rebellion slash force edge. And actually, oh my god, force edge looks shorter than the sword that is supposed to be shorter. God damn! Right, so we're going to attack with this. 